A lumber shortage in a booming housing market is not the best combination. Cassandra Webb takes a look at the high cost of lumber and how it's affecting suppliers and home builders in central Arkansas. The cost of lumber has not only delayed the building of homes like this one, but has also doubled the price of its framework. It's basic economics. Lumber is a commodity, so just like a stock, the more it's in demand, the higher it goes. President of Lumber One Home Center, Adam Wells, says the high cost goes back to the pandemic. Manufacturing slowed, and to fight some of the economic effects of the pandemic... Interest rates were lowered. That led to a boom in demand for building houses. He saw the peak price increase a few weeks ago. Overall, the market was somewhere around 360 to 380 percent up. And because it was so high, demand actually slowed down. And because of that, we're actually starting to see perhaps some relief on lumber prices. The roller coaster trend affecting home builders like Eric Ward. But the good thing, it seems like it's getting better, uh, slowly. He says it's caused the prices of homes to go up about 5 to 10 percent. The lumber package on this house before COVID would have cost about $22,000. And this year we just got through framing it and it was uh, 49000 For home buyers who contracted before COVID hit. So, there's a lot of frustration going on. Uh, we just dealt with it case by case. Uh, that's all you can do. The rising costs not just affecting home builders, but anyone with a DIY home project that includes lumber. We're seeing some relief there, but and we've we've heard from our customers anecdotally that they're going to hold off to see if they get some relief, and uh, who could blame them? No one can say for sure when lumber prices will return to normal or if they'll ever return to normal at all. Reporting in Little Rock, I'm Cassandra Webb. Back to you. Cassandra, thank you.